Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and I'm back with another tricky question. Here we go. Let's do it. This is a um, beautiful looking curve, and it is uh, a region which is in between pi over 6 and pi over 2. And the figure shows the sketch of the, um, of the curve with this equation. And basically, we just need to find the area. And it says using a u substitution that is equal to 3 plus 4 sine x show the area can be uh, written in this particular form. Okay, so where are we? We are over here and we start by writing the substitution, which is u is equal to 3 plus 4 sine x. <clears throat> and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, differentiate that. So that gives me uh, du by dx is equal to 3 differentiates to 0. 4 sine x differentiates to 4 cos x. Okay, so let's make dx the subject. So multiplying up and then dividing through by 4 cos x gives me du over 4 cos x. Now, some of the times you would want to make sure that dx was solely in terms of u, but here I think we're going to be fine um, because I'm suspecting that there's going to be a cos which is going to be on the top, um, which is going to cancel. Okay, um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do my limits. So I know that when x is equal to pi over 6, um, what value of u will that give us? So if I sub x is pi over 6 into here, Pi over 6, um, sine pi over 6 is a half, times by 4 is 2, plus 3 is 5. And also when x is equal to pi over 2, the other limit, when I sub that in, uh, u, I get u is equal to, um, well, sine of pi over 2 is 1, times 4 is 4, plus 3 is 7. Okay. That's a good place to be. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write out my um, integral. I'm going to do it in terms of x, but I'm going to expand this top here because this is 16 sine 2x, and I know that sine 2x is 2 sine x cos x. So that will give me 32 um, sine x cos x. And that will all be over... Uh, this 3 plus 4 sine x all squared dx. Now, the bottom is going to be sorted out because we're going to substitute straight in u uh, for 3 plus, sine, 3 plus 4 sine x, and then we're going to square it. So that's going to be fine. Um, it's the top that's going to need tidying up a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write it as... Um, I know I'm going to get a... There's a, four, there's a 4 sine x here, and there's also a 4 cos x on the bottom there, which is going to cancel out. Okay, so I'm going to write this as um, 2 times 4 sine x times 4 cos x. I think this way is just going to make it nice and easy to see what is going to cancel and why. Okay. Right, so now I am ready to transform this perfectly in terms of u. So uh, the, the limits are 7 and 5. We're going to have a, um, a 2 on the top. Now a 4 sine x, that's going to be u minus 3, just by rearranging this. Uh, I'm going to keep the 4 cos x there, because I know that's going to cancel. On the bottom we're going to get u squared and dx is going to be du over 4 cos x. Okay, great. So we can do that um, cancelling there. That's going to cancel with that. And now we're perfectly in terms of u and I'm going to grab some more space. Okay, we're back. Um, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to um, expand this. Uh, so what, what I will do is I will, you can take the 2 out if you want to, um, yeah I think I'll take it out outside because it's a constant, we can do that, but only if it's a constant. So I'm going to have u divided by u squared, which is 1 over u, and I'll have minus 3 divided by u squared, 
um, which is minus 3u to the minus 2. That makes it just easier to integrate. Okay, so now I can integrate this. So I'll do square brackets once I've integrated uh, 1 over u. That goes to ln u. And here I'm going to up the power to minus 1, divide by the new power. So dividing by minus 1 turns it into 3. And again, the power is up to minus 1. Okay, great. And this is 7 and 5. Right, now it's time to sub in the limits. So I'll keep the 2 outside. I'll keep the square bracket here. And I'll do a smaller bracket. And I'll sub in 7. So that gives me uh, lin 7. And this will be um, 7 to the minus 1 is 1 over 7. So times by 3 is 3 over 7. And then minus the two uh, limits. And now I'm subbing in 5. So I get ln 5. And that's going to be plus 3 over 5. Okay, great. Um, I'm going to simplify this. Uh, because my luns, I'm subtracting ln 7. Uh, I'm, doing, I'm subtracting ln 5 from ln 7, and when I subtract ln's like that, I can just write them as uh, one divided by the other inside the input. And then I need to do 3 sevenths uh, minus 3 fifths, which will be minus 6 over 35. Perfect. So this is 2 ln. 7 over 5 minus 12 over 35. It does ask me specifically to have it in this form. Uh, so I need to make sure that the ln is, um, uh, I need to bring the 2 up to become the power. So using log rules, I can bring this up to become ln 7 over 5 squared minus 12 over 35. Um, so my final answer, the area will be equal to minus 12 over 35 plus ln. So squaring that is going to give me 49 over 25. Right, hope you found that useful. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.